Hey everybody, this is Sparonk, and welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Persona 4. In the last episode, we actually saw the, the uh, Midnight Channel, which ended up being real. And it was actually so real, in fact, uh, Charlie decided to stick his hand into the TV and almost got sucked in. Which was <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but anyway, we're back in class and we're going to report what we found to Chie and Yosuke. Maybe. And Chie here is saying something that could possibly be taken very sexually. Anyway, let's see what else she, she says. Well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Chie? I, I think you, you should know what that means. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? They both saw the same person? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? That could be very awkward or, or very awesome for Yosuke. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? <laughs> That's a, Charlie saw lots of things last night. You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? <laughs> Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Uh, it is. Well, if it had been bigger, that... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? <laughs> <laughs> she is she is ate up the kung fu. It's it's awesome. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, Yosuke. They don't believe you at all. I don't blame them. You decided to go to Juness with the others. Nothing bad could possibly happen here, right? Right? I mean, last night, it was just a dream. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? I want to buy something like that. That dwarfs my TV. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. <laughs> nope, can't get in. Figures. Good try, though. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Charlie Tanoku's just a fucking liar. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. That's terrible, Yosuke. Terrible salesman voice. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! Yeah, your dad's the, the manager for this place. You should have, like, a discount or something. No, I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... 
With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh, Charlie, it's not- Oh, God! What? <laughs> oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... <laughs> I love this scene so much. Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? What the fuck is Charlie doing? Charlie, get your hand out of the TV! Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> yeah, Chie, it is. Hell no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Well, first, you can't be a tool. And you can't be a lesbian. Oh, both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. <laughs> Charlie, balls of steel. What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> There's empty space inside, you tell them that. Hey guys, there's just empty space in here. Inside? It's no big deal. What do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What? Why do you have to go piss now? Like, of all, the, of all times. Like, why? What the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. What's with Yosuke grabbing his crotch all the time? Ah, I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> Shit, customers, <laughs> they're coming. Charlie, get your head on the TV. We've got a guy half stuck in a TV here. What are we going to do? No! Wait, no! I like how Charlie was just totally cool with all of it, with all the stuff going on. Just like, oh yeah, no problem. Spacious in here. I'll be quiet here. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? I landed on my keys. What is this place? Some place inside Janice? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? So, uh, we're still alive, right? Um, are you guys okay? Now, this is an answer that, that does matter. See? Uh, since we chose that, our understanding went up. Also, note the floor and all the body outlines. This place is pretty fucking creepy. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> Yosuke, I think it's always been like that. Of course it is! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or, or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Um... Let's look around. Huh? But, but... Oh, come on. Look, we need to get home and... Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? I don't see a way in. Or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? 
I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, GA. Okay, so how? Um, we're doomed. We're all doomed. Um, let's look for a way out or let's calm down. Let's calm down. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Oh, well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. All right, let's see what we can find. So unfortunately, we still do not get control of the game yet. It won't be in this episode, maybe not even the next episode as well, but we'll see. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Man, look, man, it's crazy in the background. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. Yeah, that door back there. Let's know, go in there. But... With the red swirling, it seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Yeah, that door. I'm not so sure about this, guys. That that door. I don't know. Oh, it's a nice bed and a dying elephant plant. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? Whoa! That's a different angle of the room. It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Is that a chair and a noose over there to the left? Oh, I can't hold it any longer! Yosuke, just piss in a corner or something. My bladder's gonna explode! <laughs> Yosuke, what are you doing? <laughs> I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! No shame, man, no shame. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope? That kind of arrangement is never good. Um, no, not so much. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. So I'm thinking looking around may not have been the best idea. I guess we do have to find a, a, an exit, though. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Ooh, what is that? Got the creepy music going too. And what the fuck? What is this thing? 
A monkey? A bear? What is that thing? What in the world? I know what it is, but... That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Mysterious bear. So he's a bear. <gasps> it talked! Uh, what are you? You, you want to fight? <laughs> don't, don't yell at me like that. Uh, Chie, calm down. It's okay. We don't know if he's got balls for you to kick. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe you better to ask him nicely. Um... What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? Damn, Chie, calm down. What the heck's going on here? <laughs> I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? There you go, Yosuke. Picking up what he's putting down. Whoa! What the hell? He can create TVs out of nothing. Well, where did these TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna get sick watching that. But hey, we made it out. Huh? Is this... I think that bear groped me. Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Yosuke, don't you need a piss? Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Another mention of them. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw, could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Wow, that was definitely a full day. Plus, we got to go inside the TV. Man. Very exciting. Hey, welcome home. Ooh, instant ramen. That sounds pretty good. Ah. 
Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Um, she discovered the body. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that y uh, Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, what? I see. What? Moving along, it's time for the weather report. Oh, teenage daughter manager must go. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by, the, run by Yukiko's family, and it seems the whereabouts of Saki Kanishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako. Could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Yes, sir. Alright, so that ends our very, very busy day. So we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, I think we're, we're actually getting somewhat close to... Uh, where we actually get to take over. Maybe. It might be another three or four episodes. But hey, we finally got a taste of what it's like to be inside the TV. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.